is Aussie Gamer 17 and welcome to part 46 of my 100% walkthrough for Elden Ring. Let's continue on. We are here at the debate parlor. We are going to be exploring more of the Lucaria Academy. Going to head outside, explore basically this area, I think, and the rooftops. We're going to be covering a lot of the rooftops, picking up a whole bunch of loot. That's the main purpose of this video is getting uh, a lot of the uh, like the unique pickups that we can get here at the academy uh which weapons do i want yeah we can use that we can use that um and we are medium load make sure you're at medium load at most and uh, that's for some rooftop stuff later but i'll probably remind you of that when we get out there uh we're gonna head up these stairs to the north and just immediately take a right and head over to this balcony here and jump over the back We'll get to that other area in a minute, but we want to go and grab some uh, stuff, especially a legendary talisman that we're going to go pick up up here. So heading up this ladder and we can go in the window, which will put us pretty much above right where we just started. So if you look down there, there it is. There's the side of grace. Going to go left. Should be some loot here. Just a crystal bud, and then we're gonna go around the other side for the main reason we came up here. Open up this chest. And Radagon's icon. We do need that for the achievements, guys. So if you're going for 100% trophies or achievements, you got to grab that and let's just have a quick look at it. Don't think we'll be using it. It um, shortens spell casting time. Now, I actually like our casting time, especially when it comes to the magic glint blade. I like that it takes a while to shoot off and I don't want to muck around with that or change that at the moment. Um, now, outside this window, we've got to be careful here. There's a guy right there, but there's also... A guy right there that we want to get to come inside. So, what we can actually do here, guys, I've never actually tested it right at this window. We're going to use our, uh, whatchamacallit, our special Gravitas. Now, one of two things is going to happen. It's either going to damage him from here, but if it doesn't damage him, it's at least going to lure him inside. That way we can fight him, hopefully without that guy. That guy might hear it, but he won't come in here. Well, at least that's that's the plan. All right, let's use Gravitas. Get your shield ready, just in case. Okay, so that guy didn't hear anything. That's good. This is exactly what we want. Except old mate's not coming in. There he is. Come on. In you come. He's using his magic sword. Make sure you've got your shield ready. Come on, mate. Yeah, let's move over here where he can see me. Oh, no, he's going back. Let's... Go in behind him. I was trying to get a sneak attack on him then. We'll just finish him off like that. Old mate heard us, but he can't get us while we're here. Here's what we're going to do. Get Pebble ready. And watch his attacks here. Now, ideally, he wouldn't hear that because I'd normally want to lure that guy inside. So if you manage to do that, you can just easily go up and get a sneak attack on this guy. But see what this guy's shooting at us. We're going to dodge through that or roll through it and, and get an attack on him. Unless, he, unless we get him to come down the stairs, that'd be perfect. You won't get me from there. See if I can get you. All right, so we're still going to roll through it. After he shoots one, we're going to move to the right, roll up the stairs, and then light attack on him. Let's go. And just follow up with a few light attacks and you'll finish him off. You basically stun lock those guys. Pretty easy. All right. Make sure you pick up anything they drop. A lazuli robe. Good to know. And he dropped nothing. And we've got some loot over here. Just a golden rune. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Now, now, now. Over this balcony. I think it's... Where is it? On this side? Yeah, down here. Where is he? There he is. Oh, no. Okay, hang on. I want to go off this balcony. We're going to get our magic glint blades. And we're going to shoot a couple at this guy. Uh, how many do you think it needs? Three? 
Let's just try three. That might need one more. And I'm just ducking behind this railing so that he doesn't get us and we get him beautiful. Now you can't lock onto these pots, but those pots are going to need taking out. So we are gonna drop over or jump over and we're gonna take out these pots one at a time because if you try and grab that loot, they uh, wake up anyway. Let's get some Gravitas on them. It's a good way of damaging them all at once. Hey, how come you didn't die? Any more? There should have been five all up. And then grab all the loots around here. Some of them, I think, just came from the jar. Some of them were automatically here. Like, that cracked pot is always there. Uh, now. Ooh, we have to work it. Okay. If we want to, um... We can just go down the stairs, or you can jump over the railing. But we're going to head back down. This is the door that we came in just a moment ago. Just came out of, sorry. Back to the side of Grace. You could always go and recharge if you felt like you needed to. Oh, I forgot we're, we're still at seven and two in terms of our allocation, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to need healing much if we do this right uh, before we get back to that grace anyway. I'd rather have FP. You don't need to take out these crabs. I just enjoy clearing areas. It's something I've seen in the comments. People have said, you know, why are you um, killing everything when it really doesn't matter? I find this game extremely boring. I've been watching other playthroughs and other walkthroughs even, and they just run past everything and run to the next bit of loot and then run to the next bit of loot and ignore 90% of the enemies. And I find that an extremely boring way to play this game. Um, yes, it's probably more efficient and works out easier and better, but I find it boring, guys. So let me know what you think. Um, would you prefer that style of walkthrough? Uh, so yeah, we took out a couple of zombies and a couple of crabs and we're going to jump up onto this middle sort of structure here So jump up onto here and then across into the middle get into sneak mode and have your magic glint blade ready Over there. Oh, he's already coming. All right, we're going to grab this loot Which is the sword key and then we're going to focus on when it when we can we're going to focus on that guy One of the abductors unleash as many glint blades as we can in one go here He'll be close enough in a second at first couple didn't get him, but that's okay. And we're going to move around as we go here. Alright, I spent all of my magic. Oh, and they're missing now. That's okay. A couple more on this side. Just watch for if he charges up. We might need to roll back and off like that. There we go. We got him anyway. But if, yeah, if he was going to do a different move, sometimes you can't stand where I was standing. And you'd back away. Uh, obviously, careful not to roll right off this edge. And if you really needed to, run back inside if you really got in trouble. But uh, he's not too difficult. And we're actually going to kill him a couple of times just to get a couple of extra runes here and there. Uh, let's see if he dropped anything. Where did he die? Somewhere here. And I'm just going to uh, clean up this little area for a second. All right, let me just check the notes. We did him... All right, we're going to get some of the other stuff over there later. We're going to be back here in a minute. But for now, I want to head over here and show you guys something. All right, so we're going to jump on to this here. And get across here. And once we're here, you'll notice... I don't know if we have to... Yeah, I don't know if we have to jump this um, railing before it'll start, but... Those big giant balls. I don't know if have we actually seen any of those in the um, walkthrough so far. I don't think we have. They're gonna. There's gonna be this giant ball rolling down this uh, area, trying to hit us and knock us over. We are gonna run up here and then jump to this next bit. That triggered the ball. Yeah, we don't want to get hit by that. Obviously, definitely don't want to get hit by that. Let's just grab this loot. Yeah. So now they're gonna keep coming. And our job is to get all the way up the top there without getting hit by this ball. And we're going to go take care of the uh, magi the magician or the mage that's causing those balls to be uh, flown down here. Unfortunately, you can't farm these ones. You don't get points when these balls die. <laughs> all right, so our plan is to get up there and avoid that ball. There's no real scientific way I've got for this, guys. I just sort of watch it. If it looks like it's going to go left, I go right and vice versa. Uh-oh, went the wrong way. 
as you can see, not very good at it. I'm going to need a heal here. All right, where are you going? Yep, there we go. And now that one's gone, we'll, we'll get all the way inside. Okay, once we're here, we have to get ready for a fight. Time to get ready for a fight. I'm going to get my Bloodhound's Fang, and I'm going to get Scholar's Armament ready. Uh, and once we get in there, this is the Moongram Carrion Knight. Moongram and Carrion Knight? And, um, or Moongram the Carrion Knight. I can't understand my own notes, guys. Sorry, hang on. But all we're going to do is we're going to Scholar's Armament, we're going to head inside, and we're going to use left trigger, right trigger. So Finesse followed up with the right trigger, and it's pretty simple to take this guy down at our level. So let's do it. Scholar's Armament. Put the weapon in two hands, and in we go. There it is. Moongram the Carrion Knight. Left trigger. Right trigger. Left trigger. Right trigger even if you miss. He's healed up. Left trigger again. Right trigger one more time. I ran out of stamina so I couldn't do it. Now he's got no heals left so we'll finish him off with left trigger. Very, very simple fight. He doesn't get much chance to get much off on us. And we get the Carrion Knight's shield for doing that. Alright, now... We're going to head out to out west. Hang on. Here we go. Yep, this is where I want to go. Okay, there's a mage just down there. And then the rest are zombies in this little area. So I'm just getting out my normal weapons. I'm going to jump up on this ledge. And I'm going to try and... Yeah, I don't think we can sneak up on this guy. I'm going to try though. No, just light attack, light attack, light attack. It'll stun lock him. And then watch out for the zombie dudes. There's a couple of them here. Most of them are very harmless. So we'll just finish them off like that. Got them. And see if they dropped anything. We're going to work our way up to the guys that... You might be able to hear a pumpkin head too. We're going to sort him out in a minute as well. Um, let me see. Yep, we got the mage. We got the zombies. We're not going that way just yet. Gonna go to the east side here and jump over the railing onto this uh, platform here. And then inside here. And we're gonna unlock this door. I forgot to show the other side of the door. I'll show it from here. So when we came in here to fight that, uh, carrion knight, we could have gone right. That door was locked. That's a teleporter. We'll, uh... We'll talk about that later. And in there was the Carrion Knight. And now we've opened up this door. So it's a little shortcut back through here. And we're going to go up this ladder. But we need a plan before we go up. Okay, so we're going to get our Fang ready. Um, wait, not our Fang yet. Um, Alright. Our Fang is going to be ready for when we come down. But we need our Magic Glint Blades ready. Here's what we're going to do. At the top of here, there's going to be a... Actually... Actually, we've got to do a little sneak attack first before we worry about that. So go up the ladder. I'm planning things in my mind here, but um, hang on. I'm going to take our FP flask. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right. Before we worry about those two, come around here. Sneak attack on this guy. Okay. All right. Now get our fang ready. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to unleash quite a few magic glint blades. Five, actually. Five, exactly. On the pumpkin head. And then we're immediately going to turn around and go down this ladder. Sometimes the pumpkin head will run and drop off here. And in that case, we'll finish him off with our fang. Sometimes he'll just stay at the top, get a little bit aggro. And uh, we'll have to come back up and deal with him. Let's worry about that after we do five glint blades and get down the ladder. Let's do it. Not on you, on you. One, two, three, four, five. Turn off, lock on, turn around, go down the ladder. Yeah, that didn't get him because he turned around so fast. Hopefully he comes down. Put your weapon in two hands. He didn't come down on my last few practice runs either. I don't know if maybe the patch or something has stopped that. I'm not sure, but he's not coming down. So we will go up a little bit and see what's going on. If he comes down, just do a quick charge attack on him with the um, fang and it should finish him off. 
All right, if he's going back, that would be perfect. He's not, though. Can he see me? No, yep, yep, he's aggroed. He's going to try and hit me. Which, of course, we don't want. We can't get up right there where he is. So I'm going to go back down a bit and see if he uh, un-aggros. wish I could look up further. I can't see any further up. Okay, it sounds like he's walking away, which would be great. Nope, he's coming back. It's like he can hear me coming up the ladder. Oh, there we go. There we go. Go down. That's not part of the plan, guys. Not part of the plan. All right, I'm going to get away. I'm going to heal. And I'm going to roll past him. Roll past him. We want to get behind him. There we go. Finished him with a... Okay, so once again, that didn't really go to plan. Um, still happy enough with it, though. So normally, what I should have done when he fell down is we should have gone to the top and we could have just shot um, magic glint blades down at him. But if he comes down while you're down here, he uh, takes a while to regather himself when he hits the bottom and you just do a quick charge attack, ba-boom, and finish him off just like that. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, now let's get up there and worry about this mage that's up there. There we go. He's got his back to us. He doesn't even care what happened to the, the uh, pumpkin head. Now, there are two of them. So, we'll do a sneak attack here. But we're going to have our shield ready. And we're going to have a dodge ready. Just in case the other guy is alerted to it. But we're going to use that pillar to our left as cover. Alright. Sneak attack. Finish him off. And dodge to our left. Watch which way he goes. Alright, he's backing up. He can't hit us. Similar to the guy on the stairs here. Although, if he goes like that, we can get around behind him. He's got no idea where we are. Excellent. Sneak attack. The other option would be to go straight at him, dodge, and then light attack. And then stun lock him like we did with those other guys. All right, we got everything out of that. Pick up any loot that they drop. Uh, and then... Ah, the chest. Where is the chest? It's around here. There it is. Make sure you go and open the chest. The Glintstone Scarab, it's actually like a, a headpiece. So if you go into your headpieces, we've got the uh, Incantation Scarab. That one um, slightly reduces FP costs, but increases damage taken. This one slightly reduces FP costs of sorceries, but increases damage taken. So Incantations, Sorceries. That obviously would be beneficial to us, but I don't want another thing that increases our damage taken. So no deal. Okay, now, uh, is it this balcony we need? Yes, okay, so we are on the north little balcony out past the chest. We are going to drop over the edge just a little bit and grab the loot underneath, a golden rune 7, which is 2,500 runes for those wondering. Very good, yum, yum, yum. And we're going to go down here, and this will put us where that teleporter is. We're not going to be using this teleporter. Head back inside. Uh, back to our right and back to this little courtyard where we had to take out the mage and the zombies and now we're going south down this way and what am I going to find down here let me just get my notes back on track uh, okay oh two more mages oh yep, yep I know where we're going all right through this area I'm gonna have to open this door now I'll talk about the tactics once we open the door, actually. Easier once I can show you. Okay, so similar, actually, to what just happened earlier, um, but we had that pillar there to help us. What we're going to do is we're going to do a sneak attack on one mage. That's going to wake up the other one. He's going to obviously start attacking us with magic. We're just going to do a dodge followed by light attack, light attack, light attack to finish him off, all right? That's the plan. Try and log... Dodge and light attack, yeah, so no danger, no danger whatsoever other than now we've got these zombies coming up the hill. But there is another mage down there, that's what we need to be careful of, so don't go down there. If they come up, that's fine. Just get rid of this guy so he doesn't sneak up behind us. And, okay, the mage is on his way up. Before we let him get to us, we are going to get some magic glint blades on him. One, two, 
three and just watch out for this uh this guy here deal with him all right one more for the mage down there this uh little railing prevents him from getting us but we can get him with our magic limp blades the reason we didn't do pebble on him watch this let's try and pebble one of them yeah so we don't want to be doing that so just use glint blade to him head down here finish off the rest of these guys all right what do you got what do you got pick up all their goodies yum 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 uh, all right go under here we're gonna get a wet blade this is for our upgrading our weapons or for um, putting our ashes of war I should say glintstone wet blade very very handy a allows us to add magic to our wet uh, to our weapons and things like that let's uh, I'll go in and show you what I'm talking about where are the wet blades there it is when applying an affinity using physical or magic type ashes of war, an additional affinity of magic or frost can be chosen. Yeah, very, very handy. In fact, we're going to go look at our ashes of war next chance we get to see if we can improve our hoarfrost stomp and things like that. Um, all right, we're going to go up here. There's another mage up here. He usually almost never hears any of that commotion. So we get to go sneak up on him and sneak attack. Take care of him. Take care of these guys. And grab the golden rune as well. Excellent. Next. Okay. We're going to go back up the stairs where we just came from. Uh, I think so. Wait on. Where was I? Um, oh, yeah. We're going to go get a golden seed as well. How many golden seeds do we have? We used them in the last video, didn't we? So we've probably got none. We do have none. Okay. I think we still need three or four for our next upgrade. Okay, so we're going to go over this railing on the west. Now, you'll see a mage just there. And just to give us our bearings, that down there is where we started the video. That's where we killed the abductor. And we left a few things down there. But we're going to get, an, get more access to this area. So watching for that mage, but we're also watching for this guy right there. Okay, we, we want to wait till that... Oh, he saw me. I've never had to do that. I've never had him see me. Okay, look, we're protected here. Let's use the same method we used on that last guy. Let's give him... Uh, let's refill our FP and give him some glint blades. Oh, he's moving too much. One, two, three. I don't know if they're going to be able to hit him. Yeah, that railing's getting in the way now. Go back up the stairs. Or do I try a new method here? Alright, if they go up the stairs, we're fine. I've never had them see me there, guys, because I don't normally stop and explain things. Alright, this is good. Four for you. When there's only one of them, I'm not worried at all. We're going to jump down and stun lock this other one. Are you ready? Get your shield just in case. But we're going to jump down and just light attack him. Here we go. Light attack. Finish him off. Easy peasy. Okay, and from there, I think we just go and open this door, right? Yep. This will open so that we can get back to the courtyard. It would have been locked from the other side. We've already taken out the um, abductor. If you have gone back to a grace in between, you'd have to take care of this abductor again. But because we've already taken care of him, we're going to head through here to our left. Where we don't have to worry about him, but we do have a bunch of zombies here. Take care of these guys. Take care of you. And grab the golden seed here. Oh, okay. Now we're going to have a giant crab. If we try and go get that loot over there, there's going to be a giant crab. So, get your magic glint blade ready. Uh, have I got enough FP? Uh, I'm going to fill my FP because we're going to a... Um, we're going back to the Grace in a moment anyway. So let's just use the FP that we've got because I can't heal, can I? I know. Uh, and I'm also going to use my Physic because we're going back to a Grace to recharge anyway. And I don't want the Giant Crab to get me because I've already used all my heals. Alright, so approach this loot. Giant Crab will try and surprise us. My camera will stuff me up. And we'll hit him with... 
What's that? Five? Five would be more than enough. I don't know if I did four or five. I lost count there. Pick up whatever he drops, the crab eggs, and grab the golden rune over here. Probably not worth it, but there's also stuff if we go around behind here. A golden rune four. Now it's starting to look a little bit worth it. Um, oh, and now we need to go all the way back and the other direction to where the golden seed was. So go past the uh, golden seed. Oh, that's just something one of the zombies dropped. That's not a guaranteed pickup. But head down past this way. I think there's a zombie at the end. Yep, there he is. Finish him off. And there should be a shiny crab in the corner here. And this is going to drop one of those... Um, oh, he got me. Yeah, I'm using the, the wrong weapon for this guy, but finally got him. Uh, the Morning Star does a much, much better job, but we got the Car Carolos Glintstone Crown, and we can have a quick look at it. It's another one of these types. I told you we we're going to get a few of these. This one increases intelligence, but drops out stamina. We don't need that. We don't need it. All right, but I want to get those helmets, as many of them as we can, or masks, or whatever you want to call them. And from here, guys, we're actually going to fast travel back to the debate parlor and uh, sort of start another run from there so fast travel back to debate parlor let's go oh sorry about that i'm just uh having a drink of my iced coffee there now we're going to head back out the same way and this time we're going to cover a lot of the rooftops and some of the loot that you can get out on the rooftops guys um as you'll see we've got a um whatchamacallit we've got a rune arc active now there's some of these jumps that you can make on the roofs it is easy to die so if you know how to do a cloud backup save that's what i recommend here uh but before we do actually let's see if we can level up as well we don't want to risk too many runes although they are very very easy to get back to and grab your runes again so don't worry too much but it is easy to die in this section and you don't want to be wasting all your rune arcs falling off roofs so that's why i wanted to remind you of that I'm going to spend a lot of my runes, but we've got still 9,000 that we'll be risking. But more importantly for me, it's the rune arc. And I'm just going to pass time to morning. And like I said, do a, um, whatchamacallit, backup save if you want to not risk your rune arc. All right, and off we go. I don't think there was anything else I needed to do. All right. Okay, what I am going to do is I'm going to take out the abductor again. Obviously, he's going to be respawned because we've rested at that side of grace. Um, not only do I just want to get rid of him so we don't have to worry about him, but also it's a good little easy way to get a few runes as well. Not that we're farming or grinding or anything, but uh, here he comes. Lock onto him when we can. When he gets a bit closer, start shooting our glint blades. About now. And when he gets too close here, see when he loads up like that, you probably want to back away. Now I'm going to see, oh, I'm locked onto the wrong target there. Shoot a few more and, oh, when he loads up, get out of his way. And we're just using this uh, pillar here, this, uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is, uh, this is not good. Roll out of that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I forgot to check how many rooms he's giving away these days. I actually don't know. And I'm just getting rid of these guys, just for shits and giggles, really. All right, um, what about these zombies? What are they doing? Let's get, hey, 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 no, you don't, no, you don't. All right. Anyway, now, we do need to be careful this next little section. We're going to go through this door that we opened up, but if you remember, there were two mages guarding it, basically. There's one. We're going to wait for him to come down. He's going to turn around, and then he'll head back up the hill, and we'll do a sneak attack on him. Um, this is the conservative way. You can just run at them and stun lock him with, uh, light attacks. Actually, if he's just going to stay there, let's do that. Oh, he's not moving until I trigger him. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter. We'll just do a sneak attack. And now we'll see if that guy... What's he doing? we we'll wait for him to turn around, will we? Uh-oh. 
So normally I just run at him and um, stun lock him and you possibly take one hit from him. It's not, not a big deal. All right, let's just sneak attack him. Awesome. Come on, drop something. All right, and grab the loot off the balcony here. Golden Rune 3. And then we're going to jump straight over where that loot is onto this rooftop here. Get your pebble ready. Head out onto this rooftop. There's going to be two of these four armors. We're going to pebble him. One, two, and two pebbles for him. And move to your side because he, he has uh, decided to start shooting arrows at us or bolts or something. And we got both of them, and sometimes they drop their armor, but not on this occasion. At this ladder here, we're going to go around to the left and grab this loot before we go up the ladder. Another golden rune. Yum, yum, yum. And then from there, let me just make sure we're ready to go up the ladder. We haven't missed any other loot. Nope, up the ladder. Look, obviously, I don't know where absolutely every single piece of loot is, but I do try and get as many as we can, guys. All right, once we head up here, we've got three of these. I just call them pests because that's what they are if they actually get hold of you, not that mage. There's that guy there, that guy there, and there's another one there. There it is. Um, they are real pesty. So we're going to use our pebble on one at a time. We just need to be close enough. Let's try that. And that didn't kill him, but we're going to wait for him to land and then shoot another pebble. And making sure you've got enough FP to do that again for these next two. Uh, I'm going to get this one first. Make sure you don't go too close. Alright, wait for him to land. Shoot again. Yeah, I, I shot too early. Alright, and again, I've got enough FP to get this next one. But I'm worried about the mage now as well. If he comes any closer, we might deal with him first. I just don't want to trigger the uh, little flying pest. All right, we might have to deal with this guy. Come on, come get me. Come get me. All right, we're going to have to stay here to avoid that. And then we'll just roll past and do the thing I said about stun locking. There we go. Once you get to him, it's fine. Or would you give up the Academy Glintstone staff? I think that's our second one of those. All right, and then same deal with this guy. Make sure you've got enough FP. Get close enough. And wait for him to land this time. Almost always does that move where they hit the ground like that. And then we shoot another pebble to finish them off. Alright, and this loot is always here. It's just five crystal darts. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, we're going to go around the back of this uh, structure. And some of the harder jumps are coming up, guys. Around the back, grab this loot. Meteor bolts. Yeah, meteor bolts. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then we're going to drop to this roof. Uh, you know, you're going the right way. If you see that loot above above there, we can't quite get to it just yet, but jump to the roof just below it. Uh, I'm going to fill up my FP as well. And then we're going to drop again. And now the, the hardest jump, I reckon nearly the hardest jump I've done in the game. Um, here, make sure that your equipment load is medium at most. And if you're struggling with it, make sure you drop it down to light. What we need to do is jump and land. I'm going to show you exactly. We want to land right there on that corner. That's going to be the easiest way to get this jump done. Um, I'll try and show you how I do it. I'm going to sprint from here and we're going to jump to that corner. All right. I'm going to do my jumps and hold sprint button. So I'm already holding the sprint button. Run and jump. There we go. Right on this corner. And it is easier if you're at light load, but almost impossible if you're at heavy load. All right. So once we've done that, this guy's always going to land. I nearly forgot. I pushed him off. He should die. And there we go. See his runes come back. And we're going to give this guy two pebbles. Yeah, I almost forgot about that flying guy. I normally give him pebbles, but because he landed right next to me, I, I just freaked out and hit him with my sword, guys. Jump across to this roof. Two pebbles for this guy. All right, and then we want to go in sneak mode here. Oh, what did you drop? What did you drop? Give me something good. Arrows. Boo! All right, we're going to sneak. We're going to drop down here. 
snake. And we're going to do a sneak attack on this guy. If the other guy alerts, we'll t give him two pebbles. That's the plan. Let's go. No, nope, not alerted. So we can sneak up behind him as well. Make sure you go back into sneak mode after the drop. And even if your uh, initial hit didn't do enough damage, kicking him off the roof like that kills them anyway. And now this is not just a drop, guys. If you just drop, you will die. We need to jump to this next section. So I'm going to get out of sneak mode. I'm going to run and jump. Excellent. Now there's two more of those four armors in this room. They're hanging up on the sides there. And usually they'll drop before I get close enough to give them a pebble. Oh no. One pebble. Wait till he drops. Another pebble. That one missed. That one got him. There's going to be another one on the other side. We're going to do the same thing. Pebble. Wait for him to drop. And pebble. And I'm just going to fill my FP. And once we've done that... Uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Up the ladder and get the chest, okay. I spent hours on these rooftops trying to figure out where to go, guys, and writing these notes. Um, don't know if I've ended up with the most efficient way to get everything I could find, but I'm um, trying my best. Just don't want you guys to miss anything important. I've got over 250 hours in one of my characters now, guys. But most of that, it's not like he's massively overleveled or anything. It's mostly just looking around for all this stuff. All right, open the chest. And grab the full moon crossbow. Uh, now, from that full moon crossbow, we are not done in this area. We are... Hang on. Where's that? Okay. We're going to jump off to the west. So, find the west side. All right. Jump onto this roof. And there's going to be one of those flying pest thingies. Where is he? Oh, no. Sorry. No, that was that, that was the other one. That's... Oh, I wrote... Read the wrong notes. Okay, we're going to drop down. This is the loot that we could see before when we jumped to the roof just below it. So we're going to drop down to that. This should be a smithing stone level four. Yes, yes, yes. Yum, yum, yum. And now we are going to drop back to the roof. So we're back where we were. Uh, we jumped down to here from up there. And then we fell down here and we did that, that tough jump across there. But instead of going that way this time, we're going to drop down here. Drop down one more. And before we drop again, we're going to have our pebble ready. And we're going to give this guy two pebbles. And we're going to give that guy when he gets close enough. Oh, he looks stuck. Okay, normally we can give him pebbles from here, but he is glitching out. So we're going to drop down here. But uh, obviously it might be different for you guys. I might just go up and do a sneak attack and see if it... I'm scared of this glitch. All right, that was... Uh... Interesting. Oh, we gave up something though. Ah, oh, arrows. Boring. Uh, and we're going to go onto this rooftop to the west and grab another bit of loot. Golden Rune 4. Yum, yum, yum. Alright, and then we're going to go back to where that uh, this other four armor is. And we're going to very, very carefully drop to down here. Very carefully. I may have died a couple of times in practice runs trying that drop. Uh, and after we do that, do, 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 uh, we need to go and get um, this key item. So we're going to go around and past this ladder and around to our right and around again. No, not around again. Oh, that's right. There it is. There it is. What do you call this again? The imbued sword key. Imbued sword key this time. That is for the... Oh, actually, have we even been there? We have been there once. Oh, we did one of the uh, four towers, didn't we? Oh, the three towers. Now we've got a key to do another tower. I won't be going back there until we've got all the keys. And we can uh, open up the rest of the towers and show you where they all the teleporters go and what we get from them. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to be jumping across to this tower to the northeast. Jump across here. And around the other side. And grab the loot here. Smithing stone level three. Oh, if we can reach this guy. Let's see if I can get him. 
Two pebbles for him. That other guy we can't get to just yet. We're going to go back and get him later. So right now we're going to jump back to this tower to our south. Go back this way, back to where the ladder was. And we're going to go down the ladder, grab some stuff, and then come back up the ladder, all right? So down the ladder. We'll be heading over there where that guy died shortly. But first, down the ladder. Get your shield ready. Well, you don't, might not need your shield. In here, there's just crabs. Take out the crabs. And pick up... Somber smithing stone level four. Very good. Very nice. Okay. And there is some more loot up there. I originally, when I planned this episode, I had missed that loot, but it is going to be covered. So don't worry. Uh, if it's not in this video, which it isn't, I think I get that in the next video, guys. There is some loot. Um, but yeah, we can't get to the top of this, the tower. You have to make your way down from the top. Can't get there from right where we are, but I will be covering it. So don't worry. If you feel like we've missed something, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's uh, on my next page of notes too, what exactly it is, but we'll be covering it in the next video. All right, we need it. Oh, he, I think he just fell to his death, did he? Yep. Okay, so normally we have to jump across there and then kill that guy or use pebbles on him from here, but he uh, took care of himself for us. So we're going to jump across. I'm going to do my jump and hold B and then run jump. And the reason I'm going this side is just to get the loot off this guy. Now, make sure you've got enough um, FP to take out two of those pest things. That's the next thing we have to do. As we come around to this side and look off to the north, we've got two of them on that tower up there. I want to get close enough to hit one with a pebble. Let's test it from here. Because, see, that's the worst case scenario if you test it early. You just waste one pebble. Whereas, if you go too far forward and that guy, they both come and attack you at the same time, you could be in a lot of trouble. So I'll go a few more steps forward, test again, wait for him to come down and land, and hit him again. And then we're going to rinse and repeat. Wait for him to land, and pebble. Easy peasy, if you do it right. And we're going to head off to our left and grab some more loot over here. Just some magic grease. And turn back around. We're going to go in the one of these windows here. Doesn't matter really which window you go in, but if you go to this particular window, what is it? The third open window along, or fourth? Fourth. One, two, three, fourth from the left. You'll end up right where you need to be. If you go in one of the other ones, you just got to walk across to get to this loot here. Grab that, and then we want to head to the south. Walk across here. Turn right and get to about here. And we want to drop onto this chandelier below us. I hate that fall. Uh, but there we get the Academy Glintstone Key. Now, you might remember we needed one of those to get into the Academy. But we met a fella called Thops. He was back near the lake facing cliffs. Right at the start of... Um, like, right after we finished the, uh, the castle and we took on Godric. We met Thops and he needed one of those keys because he wanted to get back into the Academy. So now we've got one for him, uh, but more on that in at the end of this video. First, let's give this guy a couple of pebbles. And maybe a third one. Uh, I need to fill it up. Uh-oh, that was bad. That was bad. Normally it only takes two. And the, his mate that comes to check it out, we'll give him three pebbles. Oh, he's going to... Oh, he's, he's using his shield. That's why one of those pebbles didn't do much damage. All right, yeah, that was nearly super, super dangerous. Uh, I don't need to heal yet, though, so let's just keep keep it off. Uh, now, what you want to do, there is another enemy right on the other side of that wall down there. Uh, what I want to do is drop off on this side so that he doesn't hear us. So drop off right where I drop off. Get into sneak mode, and then we can sneak up behind him. And surprise! These guys can drop that sword, too, if I haven't already covered that. That didn't finish him. These guys are a tiny bit tougher than the ones in the other uh, the other room. I wasn't ready for that. Um, okay, now make sure you kick down this ladder. That's so we can use it as a shortcut if we need to later. Uh, that's something we don't 
I don't believe I cover that in this video, but we're just kicking that down for now, okay? And once we've kicked down the ladder, we're going to grab this loot over here. Safe to run around, no one else is here. And then go to the far south east exit. In fact, I might get my uh, equipment. I'm gonna change to my morning star because that's a better weapon as we learn. And you'll see why in a second. We're gonna go out the southeast exit, round to our right. We're gonna find another one of these shiny crabs. Use the morning star on him. Charge attack, normal attack, bang. And we get the twin sage glintstone crowd. Oh, and he dropped something as well. Let's just double check what that one gives us. The Twin Sage, uh, press X. Increases intelligence to the detriment of HP. So what's that one give us? Um, hang on. We're currently at 41. That gives us six intelligent, intelligence. The other two only give, give us three. But it also um, depletes our HP and our stamina. No thanks. If we needed it for something specific, maybe. But uh, yeah, no thank you. Uh, now we need to go... Oh, okay, now we've got a tough dude to fight. Not really tough, but he's a pain in the butt sometimes, this guy. Actually killed me in one of my practice runs. This guy shoots fire bolts at us from a crossbow. Really rapid fire, too. Um, I'm going to see if I can get close enough. What we want to do is give him some magic glint blades and then get out of the way. So hopefully we can get close enough to him. Okay, just a little bit closer. Three. Oh, shoot, he's coming. So I'm going to back away. And I'm going to shoot as many as I've got. I'm going to refill my... And as soon as he gets closer, I'm going to use... Hawfrost Stomp, go! Got him! Sorry, I forgot to talk about Hawfrost Stomp as part of my plan, but... Uh, yeah. Don't let him get closer, but using this here as cover in case he sh shoots at you. But shooting those glint blades at him instead of him just firing off his crossbow makes him run towards us. And then we use this as cover and Hawfrost Stomp. Don't let him get too close because uh, he's actually got me through this wall before. He goes like this and his sword goes through that wall. See there, my uh, morning star doesn't go through the wall. Game's... The game has cheated me a couple of times, and he has killed me. So just be careful with that one. And with that done, we're nearly done for this section of the academy. We've got to grab the uh, magic staff thingamajiggy here. Azure, Azure's Glintstone Staff. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else in here. And it's much, much, much quicker for us to um, fast travel out of here to continue on than, uh, than going back the way we came. Uh, now, what we do want to do, actually, is go and see, as, as I just talked about a moment ago, we picked up that extra key, and it's for Thops. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to fast travel right now all the way down to the lake-facing cliffs. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, lake-facing cliffs, and we're going to go see Thops, and then we'll come back, and we'll be able to finish his quest line real quick. So let's do that. All right, so once we're here at the cliff... Uh, what did I say it's called again? Lake-facing lake cliffs. Keep getting that confused. Head down to the southwest and inside the uh, old ruined church. I think we left a marker here. We did. Look at that. There is a marker there on Thops. Let's go say g'day to Thops again. Back to learn another. Uh, You're most welcome to any of my anemic little spells. I don't think we actually want any of his spells. Let me just have another look at them. We've already got Glinstone Arc, don't we? And Pebble. Uh, and I think we've already got that as well. Oh, no, no, that's the light one. No, we don't have that, but we don't need it. Uh, we are going to give him the Academy Glinstone Key. Yes. I'm certain. Don't tell him we already used one. Thank you, dearly. Now I can go back to you. Probably don't want to just see the back of my head, do you? My study of glintstone sorceries. I'm the very stars. <laughs> Excellent. That is the... Oh, I forgot to talk about why we were doing this. The erudition... Um, we did go to that puzzle tower where, where we needed that pose in order to solve the puzzle, but we climbed up on the wall... Um, now we've got that pose. We're going to use that in another puzzle tower later on. 
Um, let's see if he's got any more dialogue. I don't think he will. Uh, about the Glintstone Key? Yes, he does. With your blessing, I will depart for the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Or perhaps one day you will pay me a visit? Who knows? We're definitely going to pay you a visit. By then. <laughs> oh, let's hope so, mate. Let's hope so, Thops. And if you do this... No, nah, that's just a repeat. Good. I always make sure he repeats. All right. We are going to leave. And from here, we are going to remove that marker because he's going to be moving from there. He ain't going to be there once we fast travel away. And speaking of fast traveling away, that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to go back to the academy and to the classroom. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Where is it? Nope. 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 It's that one. Schoolhouse classroom. Let's go. Hang on, get rid of the markers. There, there we go. And somehow, Thops has managed to beat us here. If we go out to the west, outside, and turn around and go around to the right. Here he is. Uh-oh. Thops's Bell Bearing, his Academy Glintstone Staff, and Thops's Barrier, which is actually a really cool move if you want to put a move on a shield. Oh wait, that's just the spell, isn't it? That's not the actual Ash of War. But anyway, um, yeah, Thops didn't quite become a uh, Master Sorcerer. For those that can't tell, he's dead. Um, yeah, sorry Thops, you didn't quite make it. We are now going to fast travel back to the debate parlor. And we are going to end the video there, guys. Uh, we will go to the round, the round table hold possibly in the next video and give a uh, hand over the bell bearing and upgrade our some weapons and stuff if we have if we need to. I've got to check that off camera. But that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we are going to continue our way through the Lucaria Academy. Um, and we are going to be fighting one of the main bosses of the game. One of the story bosses, guys. Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. One of the hardest fights during my practice runs. But don't worry. I've got some uh, strategies to help you through it. So I can't wait for the next video, guys. There's the belt. You know what that means. Class dismissed.